Well, good morning, good morning everyone. It's a Friday morning. Yes, another week has gone by. Aren't the weeks going by so quickly this year 2022? But you know, in it all, God is doing great things. Amen. And who would have said that we would have started this year with a war in Ukraine? Well, God knows. Eh? God knows and he just wants us to be rightly positioned. So welcome Lorraine, welcome. Why don't you just um, send this off to your friends, just post this on your um, timeline, your Facebook timeline as I'm doing now. Good morning, morning Alna, welcome from Zanin and Freiburg. Yep, we trust, we really trust in God that our footprint will grow. Amen. Michelle Papenfuss, welcome, welcome. And Swazi, welcome. Um, all the way from Midrand, welcome. Yes, we just um trusting God for great things. Ina, welcome. Yes, Hada, may the glory of the Lord be upon you this morning. Hada, good morning. Sorry, thank you for um just being on Tembi from Pretoria Monument Park. Yes, awesome Tembi. Adele, bless you, Adele. We just bless God for you. Amen. Yes, we just thank God for you. We just thank God for um, all our partners, our prayer partners, because without you coming on, Brenda Lee Brits, welcome Brenda, Tina and Ethel. Good morning, Ethel. Yes, indeed, you are a prayer warrior. Amen. Yes. So today we are really going to press in Pearl Joy Cornelianson. Welcome, welcome. Um, don't forget your communion elements. We will have communion as we dedicate our nation back to God at the end of this um, prayer time. Sepo Muhlala, welcome. Sepi, we, we just thank you for coming on. Ananda, welcome Ananda. Um, great to have you with us. <coughs> yes, we just trust in God. Amen. We're pressing in. That's the thing about intercession. You have to keep pressing in, pressing in. Good morning, Sandra from um, Jeffrey's Bay, welcome um, all the way. Good morning, Sunette. So nice to have you on, Sunette. Amen. Lindy, good morning, dear Lindy. Welcome, welcome. Lindy's from Pretoria. Amen. Hallelujah. Her and her lovely family. Welcome. Um, we just um, know that God is in control of these times, even though we can't understand very often what's happening around us. But God is in control. And Pamela Cochrain, welcome Pamela. And as I was saying about intercession, you know, you don't get the breakthrough immediately. You have to keep pressing in, pressing in. We welcome Luanda from Modi Mali. And so as we keep pressing in and we keep pushing in, you see, we have to push down like um, Daniel fasted and he only got the the answer after 21 days we're dealing with some things in the realm of the spirit that are very powerful that are trying to control nations amen that are dictating the course of history you know in our nation and and in the nations of the world and so these are not things that we will get the victory overnight these are things that we really have to push in amen so prayer and intercession is not for the faint-hearted amen it's not for those that um, think, well, we'll just get, you know, by and tomorrow everything will be fine. No, it won't because we're dealing with principalities and powers in the heavenly realm. So welcome Claire and welcome Lorna. Yep, it's another day of victory for us. Welcome um, Velma. Bless you, Velma. Thank you for coming on. And so it's principalities and it's powers over nations. Good morning, Madeleine. Welcome. Thank you for being with us today, Madeleine. So, as I say, it's principalities and powers of a nation that are really dictating the course of history. And so we want to um, be in the place where our nation, amen, is a sheep nation, where our nation um, is a prosperous nation, that when God stands before us and he judges the nation, that we wouldn't be judged as a goat nation, but as a sheep nation. So welcome, Colette Jensen. Welcome, Daniel um, Kruger. Welcome, Jeanette Edgar. Thank you for coming on. Yep, we're a family of intercessors. We're a family of warriors. Amen. We're a family of prayer 
um, minded people, amen, whereby we are led by the Spirit, amen, we're led by the Spirit, we're led by the Spirit this morning, so we just thank you, Lord, we just say thank you, Lord, we say thank you, we see many start, but they can't complete the journey, because maybe they don't have an understanding of what they're doing or what they're trying to achieve. There's no goal and there's no vision. Welcome, Neo. Good morning, Neo. Um, Neria Mulman. Neria Mulman. Welcome. Leanne. Welcome all the way from Notting Hill, Leanne. Not Notting Hill in London, but Nottingham <laughs> in South Africa. Amen. Moggy Naidu. Welcome, Moggy. Yes, we just praise you, Lord. We just say thank you. I thank you for each one on here this morning, Lord. I thank you for your blessing upon them. Narciso, good morning, Narciso. Janine, um, Ken Cross, welcome from Habeka. Amen. We trust in God for Habeka, for a new government there. Amen. We trust in morning, um, Karen from East London. Morning, sure. We just say so we must we have to give that whole eastern cape back to the lord jesus christ amen that his kingdom rule will come that his kingdom will be birthed there amen and that god would turn all this tribalism and all this factionalism on its head amen and that as the saints press through amen for east london the lord said he's going to do something in east london he's going to work in that eastern cape area amen and we ask you this morning lord we're asking you that you would come lord that you would come welcome janine janine cross rada mayor we just say thank you today lord we say thank you we say thank you lord and father even as um we come before your holy throne this morning we um come on this prayer platform and we want to just give ourselves to you today welcome tembi um we give ourselves to you today, Lord, and we say, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you would give us clean heart and a pure heart, Lord, a clean mind and a pure heart, Lord, clean hands, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, that there would be nothing that interferes, Lord, between um, you and I for, Lord, your victory to be uh, birthed and for your kingdom to come lord on the earth for your kingdom to come through us lord that we would be facilitators of your kingdom um on this earth lord that we would be facilitators lord um of of your rule on this earth lord and father we say thank you for the privilege this morning of being able to just be at this prayer altar lord we say thank you for south africa lord we say thank you lord for the ukraine lord we say thank you lord for israel father we say even thank you for the muslims lord father that you will be moving upon them lord and that you will be speaking to them lord father we just say thank you lord we say thank you this morning lord we welcome Molly. Thank you for coming on. And Lord, we want to just thank you, Lord, for that which you are doing in the earth. You know, there are so many um, media reports and we could get so discouraged. But in this time and this season, we have to live by what God has placed within us. So, Lord, I pray for each one this morning. I pray, Lord, for quickening, Lord. Father, I pray for such a quickening within us, Lord, that we would hear your voice. Thank you. Heather, bless Heather today, Lord, that we would hear your voice, Lord, so powerfully, Lord, that we would be led by your spirit. I say thank you today. Thank you for your grace upon us, Lord. I pray for grace for every intercessor today, for every prayer warrior. Let your grace come upon them. Let your grace come upon their families today, Lord. Father, let favor be upon them. Those that need favor, Lord, in work situations, I pray your favor upon them, Lord. Those that need favor, Lord, in terms of family, Lord. Let, Lord, favor be upon them. We say thank you today, Lord. And Father, we say thank you as we commit this time to you that you will just lead us in prayer. Pray through us, Holy Spirit. Pray the perfect will of God through us today. We ask you, Lord. We ask you. We say thank you, Almighty God. And so we just, obviously, we're going to start again with the Ukraine. And just as I've been praying, you know, it's a very, very significant time that this 
this um, battle is taking place. This leader of the Ukraine is a Jewish man. He, the president of the Ukraine is a Jewish man. And so he comes from the same lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I've been praying, you know, um, it, we we must understand the times and the seasons, that this is a time where we are heading for Purim, and we discussed that one or two weeks ago, and Purim is the time when the Jews were delivered, amen, when um, Esther went before the king, um, and she gave her life, she, um, you know, um, on behalf of the, the Jewish nation, because the king could have put her to death, but yet God prepared, prepared the king. And so he dealt with the Haman. And as I've um, been praying, you know, the Lord has been showing me that this battle is about um, um, Haman, which is obviously the Russians, Haman, which is um, Putin. And um, here we have um, Esther, and here we have um, the, the president of the Ukraine. Um, and, and, you know, God says that if you touch um, my people, you touch the apple of my eye. If you touch my nation, you touch the apple of my eye. And so maybe it is um, such that God wants to raise up an Esther to deliver this nation. Amen. Welcome, Michael. Um, God wants to raise up an Esther to deliver this nation. And so, Lord, we thank you today. We say thank you, Lord. Welcome, Jeremiah from Nelspreet. So lovely to have you. And Pre Hemson, welcome, welcome, welcome. And so we have to really just bring this before God and try to understand it and try to see it through his eyes. Amen. We can't interpret this war through the eyes of the media. We can't interpret this war through what we're seeing in the natural. We have to interpret this war through the eyes of the spirit, amen, and through what we're hearing in the spirit, through what we're discerning in the spirit. And so that's why in these last days, it's even more important that um, our spiritual senses be in such a place where we can discern good and evil, amen, where um, our spiritual senses are so developed, amen, that we know exactly what's taking place in the spirit realm, we know exactly what's taking place in our nation, amen, and so here is a Haman who is out to destroy this nation, and if you just have to look at some of the facts of um, um, uh, the Ukrainian church they um, send more missionaries into Europe than any other nation. The Ukrainian church has the largest charismatic following in um, the Ukraine than any other nation in Europe. I mean, not only does it have mineral wealth and wheat and, and you know, um, its natural resources, but the spiritual heritage of this nation is absolutely incredible and so um we i believe that god is saying to us we need to pray and we need to really trust him that he would raise up an esther amen that he would raise up an esther to stand against this haman amen and esther to speak for those who can't speak, amen, um, even at this time of Purim. And so um, there are more, I um, uh, believe, talks today um, and, and as the two sides come together. And so, Lord, we say thank you today. Thank you that we have the privilege, Lord, of being able to pray, Lord, on this broadcast, Lord, for the Ukraine, that we have the privilege today, Lord, to be able to pray for our brothers and our sisters. You know, there's a massive big church run by um, a gentleman called Dr. Sonny Adeja, and um, he has had to leave the Ukraine with his wife and with his family because he is on um, one of the hit lists. You know, there's a hit list of 200 people in the Ukraine that Haman wants to destroy and take out. And he is on one of the hit lists. And he's a, he has perhaps the biggest um, Pentecostal church, charismatic church in the Ukraine. And he's had to leave because he got wind that he's on the hit list. And, and so, Lord, we ask you today, we come before you and we want to present this nation before you once again, Lord. Your word says, Lord, as we... Um, pray for others, Lord. Whatever we sow, we reap. And we say thank you, Lord, that as we come to this altar and we present 
this nation before you, Lord. We're sowing seeds concerning our own nation, Lord. We're sowing seeds concerning that which you want to do in our nation. And Father, today we want to present um, this nation before you, Lord. Father, we want to present the president before you, Lord. Father, we want to present his leaders before you, Lord, even as they operate out of some underground bunker, Lord. Father, we ask you for your presence to be upon him, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that even at the this time for this president lord that you would give him a vision of messiah lord father that you would open his eyes to the messiah lord father you know that he's a dedicated jewish man lord that is he's a very honest and dedicated religious jewish man but lord that's not enough it's not enough only to be from the seed of of the lord jesus christ from the lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we're asking you today that you would come and open his eyes as the president of Ukraine, Lord, that you would open his eyes to the Messiah today, that you would give him a revelation and give him a vision, Lord, even in his underground bunker, Lord, that you would begin to move upon him, Lord, that you would come, Lord, and that you would move in that place, Lord. Father, he is from your lineage, and Lord, we're asking you today for his protection. Lord, we're asking you for his leadership, for their protection, the protection of his family, Lord. Father, we say thank you today for his salvation, Lord. Lord, we're asking you that the glory of the Lord would come upon him, Lord, that the glory of God would come upon him, Lord. Father, we say thank you today. Let the glory of the Lord come upon his nation. Let the glory of the Lord come, Lord, upon um, his cabinet. Let the glory of the Lord come upon that place where they are meeting for these peace agreements, Lord, in these um, peace discussions, Father. We ask you, Lord, for the glory of the Lord. It says, for the Lord is high above the nations. His glory is higher than the heavens. Lord, we ask you today, let your glory come. Let your glory descend, Lord, upon the Ukraine. Let your glory descend upon his underground bunker, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord, for angelic hosts that would minister to him and to his leaders, Lord. Father, we pray for his mayors, Lord. Yes, Lord, show yourself strong on his behalf. We pray, Lord, for his, the leaders of each city, Lord. Let the glory of the Lord be seen upon them, Lord. Let this be a time where they meet their maker, Lord. Let this be a time where they meet Almighty God. Let this be a time where your glory and your favor comes upon them, Lord. We're asking you today. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord, for the myriads of testimonies, Father, that we have been um, watching and receiving from the Ukraine. But Lord, we say thank you that, Lord, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And so today, Lord, we are calling on you, Lord, for the Esther, Lord, to be raised up for this nation, Lord. We are calling upon you, Lord, for your glory to be manifest, even in the timing of the Purim festival, Lord, which is to take place in three weeks, two weeks time, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. We call upon you today for the Esther, Lord. We say thank you for Esther, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Your word says, Lord, that if we ask anything in accordance with your will, you will give it to us. And so therefore we petition you, Lord, in the throne room of heaven this morning as we present this nation before you, Lord, this nation, Lord, that you have a calling on, this nation that you have set aside, Lord, this nation where your glory is rising, Lord. We're asking you, Lord, today for the Esther to arise. We call for the Esther, Lord. We call for the Esther, Lord. We call for Esther to arise for this nation, Lord. We call for, Lord, the Esther, Lord, that would speak on behalf of Ukraine, Lord. Father, that, Lord, um, the Esther that would stand against the Haman, Lord. Father, we petitioning you this morning, Lord. Father, you know the times and the seasons, Lord. And so we want to lift the Ukraine to you onto your timeline, Almighty God, into your season of deliverance, Lord. We say deliverance for the Ukraine. We say deliverance for their leadership, deliverance for their mayors, deliverance for their cities, deliverance from Haman 
today, Lord. Father, we say thank you for the salvation of Almighty God. Lord, salvation for the people, Lord. For your glory, Lord, to open the eyes of the nation, Lord. Father, let your glory come. Let each one, Lord, have an encounter in these subways, Lord. Let each um, one have an encounter, even those that have fled the Ukraine. Let them have an encounter with you. Lord, we call for the salvations, even as many have seen, Lord, that revival is going to come forth from this time. We say thank you. We call on that revival. Come and revive us, Lord. Come and revive. Come and revive. Come and revive. Come and revive. We're asking you this morning, Lord. Come and revive. Come. Come and bring revival, Lord. Oh, Lord, you will arise. You will arise. You will arise. Thank you that you will arise, Almighty God. Thank you that you are arising, Lord. Revival, revival. We call forth revival, Lord. We say revive your people, Lord. We say revive your people, Lord. Revive them, revive them. Revive this nation, Lord. Turn Haman on his head, Lord. We say thank you for the judgment of God upon Haman, Lord. We call for the judgment of God. We call for the judgment of God against this wicked servant, this wicked leader, Lord. We call for your judgment, Lord. We call for your judgment today. Let it be a kindness. We call for your judgment, Almighty God. Oh, Father, we praise you this morning, Lord. Let your judgment come forth. Let your judgment come forth. We say, let your judgment come forth. We say, thank you this morning. Morning, Lord. Let the judgment of God come. Yes, the ancient of days. Let the ancient of days arise. Let the ancient of days arise, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Let for the mothers and for the children of Ukraine. Let your shalom fill them, Lord. Let your shalom, let your shal shalom, Lord, fill them, Lord. Let your shalom fill them today, Lord. Oh, we ask, let peace. We call for the peacemakers, Lord. We call for the peacemakers. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Peace, peace, peace to that region, Lord. Father, peace to the cities, Lord. Peace to the people, Lord. Peace, peace, peace. Turn back, Lord, this, this uh, attack. Lord, turn it on themselves, Lord. Turn this attack on themselves. Let the enemy be turned on himself, Lord. Let the enemy be turned on himself. We dispatch our angels over this nation. Angels. Over every city, Lord, the angel of the Lord, we call them forth over every city, over every street, Lord. Father, we say thank you for this great victory, Lord, for this great peace that is coming forth. We say thank you this morning, Lord. Oh, we praise you this morning, Lord. We say thank you this morning, Almighty God. Father, we praise you, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for supernatural peace. Yes, righteousness will rule. Righteousness will arise, Lord. Oh, we say thank you today, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, We say thank you, Lord. Yes, that the generations to come will know of your testimony, will know of great deliverance, Lord. We say thank you that this, uh, this nation is protected. The sovereignty of this nation is protected, Lord. And as you move on the leadership, as you move on this president, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Yes, let God arise and his enemies be scattered this morning, Lord. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. And so, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. We speak peace, peace, peace. We call for peace, peace, supernatural peace, a supernatural cessation of war, a supernatural peace, Lord, a supernatural Esther to arise. We call forth, yes, 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 yes. Yes, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for the angelic hosts which come and deal with this Haman today, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Let the angelic hosts come and deal with this Haman today, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. Let your kingdom come and arise over the Ukraine. Let this be a testimony, a sign, and a wonder, Lord, to the earth today, Lord, of your mighty deliverance, Lord, and of the hand of God. We say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you this morning, Lord. And Lord, even as we present our own nation before you, Lord, and our our um 
connections with Israel, Lord. Father, when you look at the nation one day and when you judge the nations, you will judge us as to whether, to whether we are a sheep or we are a goat nation, Lord. And Father, today we want to present South Africa and Israel before you. We, Lord, on behalf of our leadership, Lord, today, we repent, Lord. We want to repent today on behalf of South Africa, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord, that we come today. We come today. We want to repent on behalf of our leadership for turning our back on Israel, Lord. Father, we want to repent on behalf of Lord um, um, our nation, Lord, even yesterday, this, this march against um, Israel. Father, we want to repent, Lord. We want to repent. And we ask you, Lord, that you would forgive our leadership, that you would forgive them, that you would, Lord, they know no, not what they do, Lord. But Lord, we stand in the gap, Lord, on behalf of South Africa and Israel this morning, Lord. And Lord, we know that as a nation, we are under judgment because of this. Lord, we know um, that our nation, Lord, is not in a good place. We, we, we witness and we live with the fruits of this judgment on a daily basis, Lord, which is chaos in our nation, which is a failed economy, which is failed education, Lord, even a church which is turning away from you, Lord, an anti-Semitic church, Lord. Father, we want to repent of this today. We want to repent of the anti-Semitism in the church today. Father, these men and women who know not what they do, Lord, forgive them today. We ask you, Lord. And Father, we, we we, we are um, reminded of Zechariah 2 8 that says, Whoever touches you touches the apple of your eye, Lord. And we have touched the apple of your eye. We confess that this morning, Lord. Lord, we have we have done wrong, Lord. Father, we have done wrong. And Lord, we're asking you today, on behalf of South Africa, that Lord, in the spirit, Lord, that you would make the way known, that we would um have this highway, Lord, between from um, Cape Town to Africa, to um, right throughout Africa, from Cape Town right through to Jerusalem, Lord. Father, we're asking you to come, Lord, and that you would move and that our, um, um, our nation would no longer be a goat nation, Lord, but that our ties, Israeli ties, would be reestablished, Lord. Father, we're asking you that you would come and deliver our nation out of this mire that it's in, Lord. Father, our, the, 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 um, the confusion of South Africa, Lord. Father, the, the fact that we've lost our identity as a nation, that we are such a weak nation, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you. We have plundered your people, Lord. We have plundered them. And so we're asking you today that you would come and that you would remove our government, Lord. That you would remove our government. That we would have full diplomatic ties restored, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord, for our new government, Government, for the fear of God to be upon our leaders, Lord. Father, the fear of God in terms of um, our relationship with Israel, Lord. Father, Lord, your word says if we bless your people, you bless us. And so we bless Israel today. Lord, we pray for Jerusalem. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, even yesterday, as, as um, there are problems now, there are diplomatic problems between Israel and and um. Russia, Lord, and Father, even as Haman is attempting to take um, uh, this nation, Lord, Father, we're asking you, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, we're asking you to come and deal with this Haman, Lord. Father, we want to put Israel back onto your timeline. We want to put South Africa back onto your timeline, Almighty God. Father, we want to say, Lord, why don't you protect our nation, Lord? Why don't you come, Lord? Why don't you move upon South Africa? Why don't you, Lord, um, 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 uh, uh, as this highway has been promised, Lord. Father, why don't you bring unity? Why don't you bring strength, Lord? Why don't you bring, Lord, um, a new agreements? Why don't you bring new trade agreements, Lord? Oh, Father, we bless Jerusalem today. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that you would protect the walls of Jerusalem. Lord, Father, we're asking you that you would seal that city, Lord. Father, we're asking you that you would seal the cities of Ukraine, Lord. Father, that you would seal the, the 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 bunker, Lord, where the Ukrainian president is is um living at this time. 
Seal them, Lord. Seal our cities today. Lord, we're asking you today. Father, even as, as it has been prophesied and how Syria, Lord, has is no longer a city, um, is no longer a nation, Lord. Damascus is no longer a city, Lord. It's a heap of ruins, Lord. Father, it's a deserted town, Lord. And Lord, we see the works of Haman today. We see, Lord, how he is how he, he has taken um Syria and how he's taken Damascus, Lord. And Father, we are asking you today, Lord, we know that this has been prophesied, but Lord, we're asking you for your timeline. Lord, I'm asking you for every believer on this broadcast today, Lord, that you would give us wisdom, that you would give us understanding of the times and the seasons, Lord, of what's taking place, that you would know and um, that we would know how to prepare for this time, Lord, that you would give us understanding of the fact that there's probably a third world war coming. Um, Show us how to prepare, Lord. Show us, Lord. Oh, Father, we're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabashikiamba, ba, 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 ba. Lord, we're asking you, Lord. Yes, yes. We remind you of that prophetic word, Lord. Yes, we remind you of that prophetic word by Chris Reed, Lord. Oh, Father, we remind you today. We remind you, Lord. Father, of the favor of God coming upon Jerusalem and the, the believers would be favored. We remind you of that today, Lord. Father, we say, won't you come and open the heavens, Lord? Lord, won't you come and realign our nation, Lord? Won't you come, Lord, and build a new fiber into South Africa, a new moral fiber, a new strength into our nation, Lord? Oh, we petition you for South Africa today, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. God of heaven, God of earth, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we th we ask you, Lord, that Lord, that the borders of Israel would be sealed today from the Haman, Lord. Father, that the borders would be sealed, Lord, but that you would give um the, the, the Israeli Knesset wisdom and understanding. Lord, we pray for the Israeli Prime Minister today, Lord. Father, we pray for him, Lord. Father, that um he would begin to fear his maker once again, Lord. That Lord, he wouldn't just be a um a, a, another choice, Lord, um, which a, a man who, who doesn't fear his maker, Lord, wh one who is more secular than Christian, Lord. Father, we're asking you, we're asking you for the leadership, Lord, of that nation, Lord, that they would be able to prepare, Lord. Um, Father, we're asking you, Lord, that you would give them wisdom, understanding, give them insight. Father, we're asking you that you would help them. Father, we're asking you for a miracle, that the, the the nation of Israel could possibly be the Esther that would come and help Ukraine. You know, I'm just seeing this as I'm praying. I'm just seeing that the nation of Israel could possibly be the Esther. Lord, we ask you today that if this is possible, that you would, if this is your will, that you would make it, Lord, that the nation of Israel would stand up as the Esther, Lord, to deliver Ukraine, Lord. Father, we're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you for a new alliance, Lord. Father, we're asking you for a new alliance between Israel and the Ukraine, Lord. Father, we're asking you for new agreements, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. Oh, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let Israel possibly be the Esther that will deliver the Ukraine, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we're asking you today, Lord. Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shikian. Father, move upon the Knesset. Move upon the leadership. Move, Lord, upon the um um, the, the ministers, Lord. Oh, Rabbi Shiki and Rab, move upon the defense minister, Lord. Oh, we're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We call it forth. We call it forth. We decree it, Lord. We call it forth. Let there be such a shift, Lord, in this understanding uh, in the Knesset, Lord. Let there be such a shift concerning this war. Let there be such a shift, Lord. You know, I'm just seeing the mechanics of this war and God just changing the mechanics of it all. Father, we're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We're asking you, Lord. We call this forth today, Lord. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, and even as um, Esther had seven 
servants who prepared her, Lord, for her meeting for the King, Lord. Father, we're asking you for these seven servants that would stand with um, the Ukraine today, Lord, that would stand with the Ukraine. Lord, we're asking you for the seven servants to arise, Lord. Father, we're asking you today, Lord. We're asking you. We're asking you, Lord. Father, we say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you, Almighty God. Oh, Rabashikianda, Rabasarabalian. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabasarabal, that these servants would take up their place, Lord. That these servants, we're asking you, Lord. Father, that even as these servants, Lord, that they would take up their place in the realm of the Spirit, Lord. Father, we're asking you, Lord. Father, we say thank you for South Africa today, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you for our nation today. Father, we want to praise you, Lord. We want to praise you. We want to praise you, Lord. We want to praise you. And you know, um, you might think it's it's really silly that we pray for um, Islam every Friday and we pray for Israel. But this week I was watching um, a video by Chris Reed and I want to really encourage you to have a look at Chris Reed at the moment. He is the morning star, Rick Joyner's um, um, two I see he's, he's actually replacing Rick Joyner as the leader of Morning Star. And on the Elijah list this week, they were interviewing him concerning Ukraine, and they were interviewing him concerning what he saw about the war. And God began to speak to him about Africa, and God began to speak to him about China and Islam. And he said that what will take place after this war is that China will arise, not only and not only to attack Taiwan, but China will arise and will begin to form agreements and and um, come into unity with many Islamic nations um, to attack nations in in and to take control of African nations. And the Lord showed him this very, very, very strongly. And he said that if we will pray, God will um, destroy and God will protect our nations. I, I, I would really encourage you to go onto the Elijah list. And um, he, I think it was about the 28th of um, Feb that he did this interview. But Lord, we want to um, say thank you for warning us, Lord. Father, we want to say thank you today for showing us, Lord. Father, we want to say thank you for what you are doing in our nation. And we want to present, Lord, this um, issue of the Muslims in our nation before you. Lord, Father, we love the Muslim people. We love the people. But, Lord, we do not love the spirit. We do not love this principality. And today, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to stand up on behalf of South Africa, and we want to decree even to Islamic principalities and powers that are trying to control our nation today. We want to decree against you in the spirit this morning that South Africa does not belong to you, but it belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It belongs to the church. It belongs to leadership that will stand for righteousness, that will be realigned to Israel. Father, we say thank you today, and we want to seal the borders of our cities. We want to seal the borders of our nation against Islam today. We want to seal the borders of our cities and our nations. We want to seal our economy. We want to seal our education, Lord. Father, we want to seal even our places of worship, Lord. Father, we want to seal the land from the growth of Islam in our nation, and we say even to Islam in South Africa today. You are not welcome here. Your principalities and your powers are not welcome. And we decree that an aversion in this nation, we decree a rising up in the realm of the spirit that we will not allow Is Islam to take root here any longer. We will not allow this attack to um to, gr to grow and, and, and the growth of Islam to continue in our nation. But we seal the borders of our cities and our nation today 
and we decree in Jesus name a bloodline we decree a bloodline over South Africa we decree a bloodline over this nation and we say South Africa is a Christian nation South Africa is a nation that loves God South Africa is a nation that loves your nation we decree in Jesus name protection over South Africa we say thank you Lord we say thank you for protecting our nation protecting South Africa Lord we decree in the name of Jesus that Lord China and, and Islam will not take our nation but that our nation is set apart our nation is set apart we decree um, uh, angelic hosts protection father we cancel today we come before you on this platform and we cancel every alignment with Islamic nations we cancel every agreement every trade agreement we cancel it this morning Lord yes we look to Jesus the author and the salvation of our faith today we say thank you Lord we say thank you that every agreement we nullify it and we destroy it in the realm of the spirit Lord we say thank you for our new government in 2024 that it will be a government Lord that favors Israel it will be a government Lord that sees no need to have agreements with the Islamic nations we say thank you Lord that South Africa will arise in the whole of Africa that South Africa will fulfill her godly calling we say thank you this morning Lord we say thank you that this war and this attack will be turned back at the gate this morning Lord Lord, we say thank you. We decree that South Africa will no longer be aligned with, with um, Islamic nations, Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. There will be no agreement between China and Islam for our nation. We cancel those agreements this morning. We cancel these plans. We cancel these purposes in the realm of the Spirit. Bring such confusion, Lord. Bring such confusion to the works of the enemy. Bring such confusion in their planning. Bring such disagreement today we asking you Lord we asking you we asking you we petition you for this Lord father we petition you for protection of our nation that our nation would arise literally I'm seeing that if we will pray into this thing and we will labor in the spirit amen I'm literally seeing a picture of South Africa arising amen in Africa and God raising up South Africa to be such a testimony against this father we say thank you Lord we we say thank you Lord for favorable agreements yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord father we say thank you we say thank you for new sources of gas and oil we call for South Africa to produce her own sources of gas and oil let there be an expansion Lord let there be an expansion we say thank you Lord we say thank you Lord we say thank you Lord oh Rabbi Shikyan bring such confusion into the Islamic world bring such confusion Lord bring such confusion in their economy bring such confusion in their places of worship Lord father we decree in the to the land in South Africa we decree the blood over our nation over our land against these um, temples these Islamic temples these mosques being raised up we decree that they will be halted Lord father we say thank you Lord we say thank you yes yes Lord we say thank you that South Africa will even withdraw from bricks we decree it this morning morning we decree it, that that um, alignment with bricks is broken it's broken it's broken we don't need the bricks we don't need bricks we don't need bricks father we say thank you for the prosperity of our nation Lord oh Lord we say thank you this morning Lord we say thank you for the miracles that you are going to do Lord we say thank you Lord we call them forth this morning we say South Africa arise South Africa Africa and her peoples arise, 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 arise. We say South Africa is dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. We say South Africa is a Christian nation. We say revival coming to our nation, revival coming to Israel, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for um the uh, the um the um 
the rabbis in Israel, Lord, that you would open their eyes. We ask you for the Messianic Christians in Israel, the Messianic Jews, that you would protect them, Lord, protect them. Father, we're asking you, Lord, for the Ukraine, Lord, today. Father, open um, the president's eyes. Open the eyes of these leaders, Lord. Oh, we say thank you this morning. We say thank you this morning, Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you that it's another day of victory, Lord. And if, even as we take our communion, won't you just quickly go and get your communion element um, that we might take communion for these three nations today. Amen. We want to take communion for South Africa. We want to take communion for Israel. We want to take communion for the Ukraine. Amen. Father, that Lord, the Esther would arise, that the Esther would arise, that the Esther would arise, Lord. Father, we want to take communion, Lord, for the deliverance of our nation from Islam, Lord, for the deliverance and for the cessation of every agreement. Father, we're asking you, Lord, that the Muslims would be pushed back, Lord, that the Hamans would be pushed back out of our nation, Lord. Oh, Father, we're asking you this morning, Lord. We're asking you, Lord, Father, that Boko Haram and all these these evil um, um, cells, we oh, we ask you today that you would come and destroy, Lord, these wicked um, cells that are building in our nation. Father, confuse them today, Lord. We seal the borders of our nation today. We say South Africa arise. We say South Africa arise. We say South Africa arise. Yes, Lord. And so, Father, we today as we present um, your body before you, Lord, Father, we say. Thank you this morning, Lord. We want to we want to say we do not take your body for um for granted, Lord. But Father, we say thank you for the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, as we present ourselves and as we present our own families before you, Lord. Father, we take this these elements as we present South Africa, as we present Israel, as we present the Ukraine before you, Lord. We say thank you that Jesus' body, Lord, Jesus' body was enough. And we say thank you, Lord, that your body today is enough to bring healing to bring healing to South Africa and her problems, to bring healing to Israel, to bring healing to the Ukraine, Lord, healing body, soul, and spirit, healing to the psyche of Ukraine, Lord, to the, the war victims, healing to them physically, Lord, healing, healing, healing. And so as we take the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, we take it for the healing of our own souls today, for the healing of our own nation, amen, and for the healing of Ukraine and for the healing of our relations between Israel and South Africa. We say thank you today, Lord. Oh, we just said thank you, Lord. We said thank you. We said thank you. And today, Lord, we take your blood. We say thank you for the blood of the Lamb. We say thank you that the blood of the Lamb is more powerful than any other bl blood, Lord. And Father, we, it cancels out every blood sacrifice. It cancels out every wicked sacrifice in the Spirit, Lord, because this is the blood. Lord, there's life in this blood. And so as we spread the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ over the Ukraine today, over her cities, over her president, we take this blood for the president of the Ukraine this morning over his leadership. We take the blood, Lord, for um, Israel and for the Knesset, Lord. We take the blood, Lord, and for the the um, Esther that is going to rise up. Lord, we take the blood this morning. We take the blood. We take the blood. We take the blood, Lord. We take the blood for South Africa against Islam, Lord, and the growth of Islam. And we say even unto you today, you are no longer welcome in our nation. We're asking you, Lord, by your blood, you come and destroy these principalities and these powers against China and against Islam, Lord. We say thank you today. Thank you for the blood for our families. Father, thank you for the blood for our body, soul, and spirit, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. And so as we leave this altar today, we live in triumph, amen. We live in grace, amen, knowing that it's only his grace that is upon us, amen. We live with power, we live with um, vision, amen. We live um, knowing that he has reconciled us, amen. He's reconciled us to himself. Amen. And so, Lord, I thank you for those, Lord, that are um, in fear. There's some that are in fear today. The Lord says, just take the blood and the body every single day. Amen. You must take the blood 
um, um, for your healing. You must take the blood, amen, for um, wisdom. You must take the body and the blood. There's some folk today that have got real problems with their family. Somebody's struggling with their son, amen. You've got a rebellious son. He's just not um, 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 he's just not responding to you. The Lord says, take the blood. Take the body and the blood on his behalf every single day and you will begin to see and there's somebody who needs the blood and the body for their marriage amen the lord is saying take the blood and the body every single day for your marriage and you'll see how god will turn it around there's somebody who needs the blood and the body in their workplace there's some things that are happening against you you must know today that you have authority in your workplace and you must spread the blood and the body of the lord jesus christ in your workplace amen you have authority Father, we say thank you today. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for um, giving us such a, a privilege to be on this platform together. I thank you, Lord, for your family, and I want to commit them unto you, everyone on this broadcast today, Lord. Lord, into your hands, that even as we leave for this week, Lord, we say thank you for the testimony, Lord, of answered prayer. We will witness and we will know the testimony of answered prayer in the days ahead. Amen. So God bless you. We'll see you on Monday. Just keep standing strong. Keep standing in your faith. Amen. Yes, may the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand together for Tembi today. Amen. Just keep taking communion every day for all for the weaknesses that you have in your life take communion take communion because when you're taking communion you're employing and you you are um, employing the everything that took place on the cross the power you employing every single um uh, everything that jesus did for you on the cross every need is being provided for amen for your employment your family just take communion every single day and you will see um the power of the cross being released into that area of your life amen that's what we why we take we want the power of the cross we want the power of the cross amen well god bless you lots of love to everybody and shalom shalom amen in jesus name Amen, amen, amen.